My friends, welcome back. We are playing as the Moth Swarm. Now, in the last episode, we uh, we finished this war, and uh, we teared these guys a new one. They are inferior. Um, everyone suffered war exhaust. Um, it, it, it was a long war. It was a long war. We lost some territory over here. We lost a planet. Uh, do we care about it? Eh, not really. Um, you, go here, research that. We are going to be transferring these jobs towards all of our scientists. As long as we can enter that territory, we are going to, and we're going to be taking as much from it as possible. You go there, then go... Let's see, where else can you go here? Move there. And we'll just see how much we can actually get from this. Um, in terms of the planets, not much has had to change, but what we can now take is uh, the hive world. So and we're going to be taking that. How expensive would it be to start terraforming it into a hive world 10,000 and this is a gigantic uh, planet just for us this is what all of my species eventually is going to be like uh, speaking of my species so many humanoids go away where the hell is mine uh, let's just go by the biggest population amount, huh? How about that? That should bring me up. There we go. So, <clears throat> seven gene points. And... I wonder what, what we can do. I was, I was kind of hoping that we could get rid of this, but we can just get rid of all of this. And we still have three things that we can select. So... We can upgrade all of our population again. But what I am going to do is what I told you. Is we're going to change all of our population back. This didn't work out the way I hoped. Because of the um, resettling of population. What we'll do is we will terraform. Now we will need a drastic amount of um, energy as well so if we can get and i kind of took the research because i quite like that but perhaps we should take another one we could also just get a negative like housing usage or immigration pool and then we can still take energy from jobs mm. yeah that would actually not be too bad Energy from jobs plus 15. And this will be the template that we will be using. So, a lot of energy, a lot of research. And it's just going to be great. Let's create this template. And we are going to be setting, or actually applying this template. To all of our species. Yeah, that's, that's definitely all of them. The number of population is over a thousand. Applying this will take the longest of long time. It, actually, it's just 33 months. Forget what I said. It's easy. Uh, a lot of debris. There is also a probe. Let's research that. Investigate those aliens. Why not? We're busy with it anyways. Anything else? Can we just research it from over here? If that was possible. That would have been so nice. So we still have to deal with this. Uh, volatile modes. Definitely going down. Um, a refinery station. Now that is something that I am very interested in. Uh, we lost a colony due to... Well, it figures. We'll lose a few. Because I think we'll lose all of them in here. Yeah. They were not fully part of our territory. So it was to be expected. And I was actually expecting it to happen. This however. I didn't expect. And I don't like it. To be very honest. I quite hate it. So the new species. We'll just wait. And we'll slowly start terraforming. Hmm. I have to deal with the rest of it. So my fleets are heading over here right now. Because this is going to be a shipyard. 
as for you let's go and take a look before we upgrade we are going to look into our ship designs a lot has changed and yeah, i'm still okay with all of this I quite want to go 50-50 again. So this is all shield damage and this is shield penetration. And the gauss cannon now is on... Actually this armor. Oh, okay, that would could work. Why not? Let's take it. The cruiser. Do we want another design? Because the battleship... He, I, I want him to be my line. So... Perhaps getting some more mediums in a medium large and a medium something like this. Why not the plasma cannons? It's hull and armor. I, I think the plasma cannons are great. Let's do yes. Um, let's change this. Like that. Save. This destroyer, how does it look? Actually, you want to get those cannons in here as well. It might be a bit lower on the damage, but I still believe in these weapons. If I shouldn't use a combination like this, do let me know. As for my uh, battleship, we could also go for a carrier. Or just get the artillery bow. Even though the carrier did help me quite a bit. We can get a double carrier slot. How much would this change it? It actually does increase it quite a bit. Yeah. Though this would be more... Towards a hang a carrier ship. Not so much on the damage though. And we'll get an upgrade in point defense. Point defense still being quite important. Since none. None of my ships actually have it. Get rid of you. You and you. Wait. Why are you using these? Why? Oh, that makes no sense. That's so dumb. Yeah, we're, we're losing quite a bit of gases here, of course. So... This is going to be... A battle... Carrier. And we'll work on that. We'll, uh, let me know in the comment section your suggestions for other ships. I am um, actually quite interested in those. Experimental jump drive. We got a lot of power. So we got two ships. That are now the same. I want to change that. And we're going for a line ship. Or an artillery ship. And what are we going to be using for those? Armor hull. So we could potentially just get ourselves a dedicated ship just for firing torpedoes. It is expensive. It is quite strong. And still we are using these damn shields. I have to go and look at the other designs to see what the problem is. It's probably because I'm running a negative. Let's save. Are we using the same? Yes, we are. I don't want that. Go away. We are boosting our fleet, not reducing it. I don't care what the game thinks. I want to have those tech fives. So that is the uh, designs we're going for. 
That means we're going to be um, updating our ships. And we're going to be starting with you. It's still extremely expensive. Let's upgrade the designs first. Uh, going all the way over to Tunis. Which is okay. And we'll have to sell more food. We could buy more alloys. And we'll have to deal with this negative. So as soon as we see unemployment. We'll have to deal with it. Hmm, well, it would go faster if I did not have my game on pause. And this is actually still going. So, interesting to see what this will do for us. Man, those fleets. Dismissive, overwhelming, but the uh, the, assembs <laughs> the interstellar assembly is just um, doing it for us. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Ah, oh, it's hilarious, I like it. Also, let us group our armies once they're done building. And we can still see that they are building. And I'm expecting this to go in insanely high. Are you serious? Ah, <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. Look, you're equivalent, dude. What the hell? You're down here. I know. I know where you are, actually. I was expecting a war with you. Fine. If you want to die, then don't complain to me that you are going down. So, get the... Um, I'm, I'm going to be pulling two fleets. Because one is going to be upgrading. That's him. You and you. There is only one route into my system. And they will probably... Oh, actually, no, they're also in here. Will they go through theirs? I don't think they will allow them to move in their territory. Let's see. If they do, then we still have this one fleet that we'll uh, have them deal with. But, um... How about you? You are... Definitely not going to be... Allowing this to happen. So, there's only one way into my systems. They can't go through that... Through this one, right? What's the name of this? Norgrel something. It would be annoying if they were able to venture through their territory. Norgrel Syndicate. There we go. Um, that means that the ally, the metric, is probably not going to be allowed in here as well. There we go. No, actually, no, that's not the one. Damn, I don't know. They These guys could potentially go through their territory and just get in here. That would be not too bad, actually. I have a fleet in here, I have a fleet in there. They can't go into this di direction, which is fine. I don't know why they uh, decided on this course of action, but uh, hey, I'll deal with you. Don't worry. Uh, new afterburners... Man, so much. The Giga Cannon would be cool. Yeah, we'll have to get rid of this. We'll start at the bottom. Oh, we can't. The habitats are almost done. Uh, we're plus one on gases again. Volatile modes is still a bit of a thing. It's just a war after war. It's extremely tiring. Uh, are you kidding me? Who joined... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. That's annoying. That means that we'll have to deal with these guys as well. And I... I believe they were quite okay. But although it does appear that they lost the war. Okay, habitats we gained. Um... <sighs> Citadel would be nice, but we're not near our naval cap yet. Let's go with the Giga Cannon. And we'll just see where the enemy fleets will come in from. And deal with it. But sending the two fleets in here and just take it. I think 
this is definitely going to be the place where the war will go. I'm not going to be focusing much on expansion. Since we are still dealing with the aftermath of previous war and we're still gaining so much from just consuming population. We're actually running a negative if uh, memory serves me correctly. You, Forge World. One job, too many houses. Fine. You. Modes. Two. Two. That will make us into a plus. That actually would be very nice. Cloning vats. Yeah, stability is going to be a lot better. Armies. That's another thing. Four. And we build like five each. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not going to be dealing with too much expansion. I just want to make sure that they know attacking me is... Painful. I should not do that. Stop this. We are going to be changing the way our fleet looks. She's like swing. Okay, that's you. Let's put you down back to like 30. Are we over? Oh, that's weird. And put you to 15. I was kind of hoping that we could get more battleships in here. Let's get rid of that. So 30. Maybe just 20. 10 and increase those battleships. Like this. I'm okay with this. This is going to be strong. And expensive. And precisely point. That's really nice. Reinforce this fleet. And we'll deal with the other fleet later. Was well, it going slightly over? Although we could probably just change them right now. Just bring you to 30, 20, 10. Get rid of you. 8, 9. Yeah. I quite like this one. Bring you down. 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 And eight. There we go. So it's very expensive. Damn. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. So anything that you can still do? No. This is also almost done. We do have a scientist down here that's not doing anything. So I'm going to send you back to the soul system. And we are going to be... Are we... No, we're at war again. Damn, I cannot change this. Housing. Build. Let's... Replace you with a hive district. And we will have to deal with amenities. Hive Wardens is not going to be our friends. It does create housing, but we're actually going to be doing another replacement into a Hive District. As soon as we are able to. Apparently I am unable to. Which is fine. And uh, new Strike Crafts. Let's pause because there was a bit of a lag and I think we might be able to see one of their fleets. Well, at least it's not going through this guy's territory. And not through this guy's territory. That makes me extremely happy. Let's see. You still have an admiral. Did we lose a general of an admiral? Oh, sorry. Wow, sneeze coming in. Separatist, that's bad. Where did our other admiral go? Brian Oslo, you don't have a fleet. Okay. I'm going to give you this one. And we are going to be expanding both of them. 
So both of them are going to be about the same. Let's embark those trips. And let's start bringing some of these together. But they're still building, right? You are over here. You're done. Uh, you go there. Uh, my armies are on their way. And this one is upgrading. And actually, it is upgrading. Yeah, that's going to be expensive. I wonder. How expensive is buying alloys? Quite expensive. Hunting would be a loss. Anyways, so let's not do that. We have a lot of habitats here that we can colonize. But like I said, we're going to be waiting until the uh, the job is done. And we're going to be focusing a lot on... Ooh, something changed. Okay, that's the armies. So most of them are now done. So you have six. You have four. And these will merge. And you and you are going to be merging... Together with you. You and you again. You and you. That should be enough. So we'll let that happen. Some debris. All that remains. Actually we're still doing very nicely on L. We're making way too many. We need to change those. Into. Alloys. If possible. Where it is possible. We need to change those. So. Looking at this planet, a lot of housing, but we still got 10 jobs, damn. You have a job, no amenities, stability is, is horrible. Are you producing? Yes, you are. Let's go with spawning pool. Maintenance depot. Get another housing district in. And yeah, this one is changing, right? So upgrading would not be such a bad idea. What we should consider is just buying a lot more volatile modes. So we have some more room to breathe and upgrade most of our alloy buildings. Uh, this way we can remove a few and just stabilize some of these uh, planets. But I'll, uh, I'll think about it off camera guys. For now, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.